What is going on, everybody? How are we doing today? Uh, it is Sunday, Fallout Sunday, and we are really close to the end of the game. Um, now, my plan was to finish the, you know, to, just just to finish Lonesome Road, and then to see where things were going to take us. And I realized that, oh, well, one thing I'm realizing right now is uh, probably be better if I had a little bit of light so that you... You, you can actually see this side of my face, right? I'm sure I look even weirder, though. There's probably some weird thing where there's more light here uh, here than here now. But uh, we are pretty damn close to the end of Fallout New Vegas. We probably have tops like three more weeks to that. We, it, it, we're, we're close. We're real, real close. And, um, you know, it's, it's going to be nice. I was enjoying Fallout New Vegas, obviously, but... This must have been going on for like six months at the very least. I'll have to, I'll have to backtrack and see uh, everything. I'll have to backtrack and see when exactly we started. But I'm pretty sure we started like right after Fish Tank Season 1. Um, which would mean it was way more than six months. We started, I don't know, we, we probably started in like the summer of 2023 or something like that. You know, probably like July, August, I, I would assume. Uh, whatever regardless we've been going at it for a while now and i was having a really good time but i am also looking forward to um you know moving on and and uh trying not a, well i mean it'll be a new game right basically the plan after fallout new vegas is going to be uh take you know a couple weeks maybe a month to just uh either a just chill do chill streams on a sunday or b maybe even just take them off all together and then in that time, decide exactly what we're going to do in terms of the next game that we end up playing through. I have a couple of ideas. I'd rather not go a or an RPG game right after I did uh, Fallout New Vegas, right? I, I'd rather some. I'd rather it be something that's going to be a little bit less intensive, you know, something where like it, it might be level based or something like that. Um, you know, we could do like uh, one or two levels a day and stuff like that. And, you know, we have it wrapped up over the course of like two, maybe three months tops. But we'll see. We'll see when we get there. All right. For now, uh, we are at the final battle of the Lonesome Road DLC. I actually did not expect to get there last week. And we killed Ulysses, but the game decided it would bug out, you know, as is... Um, as is to be expected from modern day Fallout games, even even obs even the Obsidian game, um, there were some issues with it, to my understanding. And and uh, I found an issue yesterday, uh, not yesterday, geez, last week. So we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna kill Ulysses again, and then we are going to move on from that. And I don't want to tell you exactly what I got going on in my head regarding how we're gonna play today once we kill Ulysses and we finish Lonesome Road and things like that, because I want it, want it to be a a surprise. But other than that, what's everybody doing? How are we doing today? I hope we're doing okay. I, I had a, a good time last night. It was the first watch party stream that I did. The first uh, fight companion stream that I did in a long time, in a long while. And I had a really good time. Um, it was, it, it, it performed pretty well compared to how some of my streams are performing lately. So I would assume that, you know, a lot of people had a good time with it as well. And uh, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna keep doing those in the future, especially now because I have, um, you know, I have fight pass. So uh, the reason why, the reason why I wasn't doing fight companion streams in the past, even for a lot of big events and things like that is because, um, you know, the, the streams that I had, they were uh, not that reliable. So I didn't want to have situations where a stream shit the bed and I'm just like, oh, oops. All right, guys, I guess we got to wait for it. But what I had yesterday worked pretty damn well. Um, it's, it's something we actually paid for. We actually paid for Fight Pass, but it's like Brazilian Fight Pass, which is why it was in Portuguese. And, um, you know, we'll do Fight Companion streams in the future, but it's going to be more towards... Uh, big cards and things like that like actually um UFC 203 I believe is the return of Conor McGregor we will probably end up doing that I, I'm not 100% sure when it's going to be it'll probably be in like May or June or something like that um, or w whenever whenever it's supposed to be I have no clue they just announced it yesterday I believe actually 
Um, so that's going to be cool. It's going to be fun to see, and we'll go ahead and we'll do a fight companion for that. Um, I guess uh, Dustin Poirier is going to be fighting Islam Makashev. That is an interesting one, but I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to do a fight companion for it. Uh, then I mentioned last night I will also do one if Justin Minx fights on one of the Misfits cards, and then also we will do a a um, a um, we'll do one for the the Tyson uh, uh, Jake Paul one as well. We'll have a good time with that. Uh, sunny, warm weather here in Michigan. Feeling great. That's really good, man. I don't. It's uh, yeah, it ain't sunny. I don't know if it's warm here. I actually haven't been outside all day today. Sunday is a day where I do fucking nothing if I don't have to, dude. I I just I fucking I'm just I'm just like this all day. This is this is me all Sunday. That's that's what I do, you know. So. Um, if I don't have to go outside, I won't even do that. I won't even like stick my head out the window just to get a feel for how things are going. It's like, I, I'm not interested in that. I want to relax before I have to go back to work. Um, yeah. I'm trying to think of, uh, I'm trying to think if there's any updates. There's a, there's a couple of things, right? Um, that are going to be coming up sooner rather than later, but I don't feel like I could or should talk about them right now. It's not fish tank related or anything like that. Um, it's, it's just some cool stuff that I'm working on right now. It's, it's early stages type stuff in some cases. So I don't want to be like, this is happening. And then turns out, Oh, like a negotiation broke down or something like that, you know, cause I'm trying to talk to a couple of different people about a couple of different things right now and, uh, see what I can see what I can finagle, see what I can rustle up and, uh, you know, those, those people that I'm talking to, they can be kind of particular about things and stuff like that. So, you know, I say one wrong word and all of a sudden they're like, yeah, actually, no, I don't think I want to do this. And it's like fucking, all right, have a good one, man. You know, um, same here, but I'm stuck inside preparing my final assignments. Hey man, at least you can do your finals and get the hell out. You know, good luck, man. What's up, Scott? What's up, Arthur Morgan? Uh, fish tank seems to be moving ahead too from what i've heard oh yeah it definitely is you know it's it's funny um i got so used to seeing the house specifically uh bedroom three in the way that it was in fish tank season two that when jet posted the gutted bedroom three picture i think he did it like a day or two ago i was like where the hell is that oh that must be a new house that he's working on for fish tank and then I looked at it again like an hour or two later and I was like, oh no, that's bedroom three from the season two house. Oh shit, that's crazy. You know, it's, it's, um, it's, it's funny. Can't wait to see what they're working on. Can't wait to see what they got, you know, regardless of whether I'm uh, involved or not, um, you know, that it will, uh, we'll, we'll see, but regardless, I'm just excited for it. You know, I'm excited for season three. Um, what I'm not excited for, right. I'm slowly learning. I'm 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 a I'm a little bit too uh, I'm a little bit too shy about things when it comes to this YouTube shit. You know, I'm a little bit too shy about things because for one thing, uh, there's multiple people that I want to collab with that I was kind of waiting for them to hit me up, but they didn't want to hit me up, and I didn't want to hit them up. So we're just in this weird waiting game thing where like okay. They said on their stream they want to collab with me, but also they haven't inboxed me about it. Um, huh, that's 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 weird. Okay, I'm realizing I'm just gonna have to go out and be like, hey man, let's collab, let's do something, let's do this, let's do that, you know. Uh, but then in addition to that, like, I don't like asking people for help promoting my shit or anything like that. But I'm realizing I'm probably gonna have to ask for that because I am like almost a hundred percent sure that YouTube is stifling my growth now. <sighs> Excuse me. YouTube is like unquestionably, undoubtedly undoubtedly stifling my growth. Um and, and like you know, anybody who sucks is always going to assume it's everyone and everything else other than them. But I'm just sitting here like running calculations in my head. I'm like doing the math. And a little bit under a month ago, I want to say three weeks ago, I released that Guns Are For Sissies video. Now, my videos weren't doing absolutely positively stupendous before that. I released a couple videos that barely cracked 200 views, but that was my bad. It was videos that I knew were not going to be that interesting to a lot of people. So I, I expected that. But I released the Guns Are For Sissies video, and as soon as I hit publish, as soon as I published that video, 10 subs gone immediately. 
And then in addition to that, I'm losing like a couple subs every day. Now, you could sit here and be like, well, I mean, you know, maybe there's people, they thought you were going to be posting about Fish Tank and Sam Hyde all day. So, you know, maybe maybe you didn't do that and they left. Um, you know, you could say, oh, well, maybe there's a couple people who they didn't bother watching that video to actually understand that that was just a clickbait title and you don't hate guns. You just don't like annoying gun like weirdos, <laughs> you know, you, you, you love guns. You hate the gun fandom, right? Um like you could say those things and it's not even 110 percent um unfair it's not unfair to to uh say that right but uh the way things are going you know when it comes down to it people don't unsub from youtube channels unless they're genuinely upset with somebody they do it to make like a point if they're not that upset with you as to where they're going to unsub from you after like posting a comment being like, I've watched you for years and now you have betrayed me. I'm unsubbing from you. If they're not going to do that, they're just going to not like interact with your shit. So they're, you're going to sit in their, in their sub feed and they're just not going to watch your videos. That's the way that this kind of thing works. So to release that video, lose 10 subs immediately. And then anytime I like gain a sub, I lose a sub. And now I'm down like 35, 40 subs, which that's not like a lot of people, but also considering that I'm like a minuscule channel, you know, it, it's, it's noticeable to me, you know? Um, I think YouTube is definitely stifling my shit, right? And I'm going to have to be willing to go on like Twitter and be like, yo, YouTube's stifling my shit. If you guys like, you know, keep an eye out for my shit, please. I'm not telling you to wait by the, the computer, like, on Monday at 1 p.m. Like, Scott's uploading. Scott's gonna upload soon. I'm not telling you to do that. I'm just saying, like, if you see my shit, do me a favor. Jump in there, like it, and share it wherever you feel would be appropriate and good to share it to. I would really appreciate that, you know, because it's it's frustrating, you know. Um, I had a really good year in 2023. There was a lot of solid growth. And I put in a lot of hard work and I'm still putting in a lot of hard work. I'm actually working harder and more dynamically than I ever have been. So to be putting that work in and then I know it's not that my content is like garbage or that people aren't necessarily a thousand percent into it all the time. But to really know that YouTube, because I probably put, be, be, because like, like, hold on, let's, let's take a look at the video, right? Um, sorry. Un momento, por favor. Uh, yes. Like, we have this right here. This is the thumbnail. It's just an AR. Just an AR-15. And then it has guns in the title. So chances are the YouTube algorithm saw that there was a firearm in the thumbnail and then also that uh, the word gun was in the title and it just decided to automatically deboost me. You know, that's probably what ended up happening, I would assume. Um, and again, I don't want to make it sound like I am uh, unaware of the fact that sometimes people just fall and fall out of love with your content or uh, maybe people are just not that interested in this type of content or that type of content. Obviously, that is that is going to be part of it no matter what. But I think the outsized role in this case is probably YouTube fucking with me. You know, YouTube unsubbing people. Or even potentially maybe there were a couple of bots here and there that got to my account and those are being deleted too, right? Um, it's, just, it's just really strange. And I definitely want to... Um, I definitely want to try and remedy that however I can. And part of that, as Spiked Protein said, is... Uh, um, most YouTubers have to scream into the void for years before being heard. It's just a grind. Yeah, exactly. And that's what I'm going to have to do is scream into the void and be like, Hey guys, uh, here's my shit. If you want to see the channel grow, please do me a favor and share it and also like it because YouTube, because that's the thing about the YouTube algorithm, right? Um, the YouTube algorithm is, is wildly cruel and unforgiving. Um, I posted that video. And YouTube decided it didn't like me anymore, in theory, obviously. Um, not that it liked me in the first place, it just didn't not like me. But after I posted that, they probably were like, we don't like this guy now. So, I'm here, well, eh, now I'm down here. But the thing is, it's not like I plateau here now and I can work my way up. No, 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 because 
it goes down. Now less people are seeing my shit. That means less people are watching my shit, which means the algorithm is going to double up on that. And it's going to be like, wow, it's not even just that we don't like him. People don't like him either. So we're not going to show his stuff anymore. Like that's one of the cruel realities of YouTube. And like, I can only imagine how it would feel to be like Brandon Buckingham or, or Turkey Tom or somebody like that. Right. Um, I can only imagine how they would feel. They put they put even more time and energy into this than I do, right? They treat it like it's a it's it's a job. It's a fun job, but it's a job. And they have they have a daily grind of like eight to twelve hours of just doing everything related to this. And then they release a video and it flops compared to what they would usually get, which is of course millions of views a month. But <laughs> you know, a flop is a flop. Um, that's gotta be like heartbreaking. That's gotta be soul crushing, you know? And, um, me, like I have this thing where I'm very stoic. I don't like to complain about things. If, if I do, it's not that I'm complaining. I'm just talking about the reality of a situation, right? Like what I'm doing right now, I'm not trying to complain about this. I'm just like filling you guys in what's going on with my channel and something that I've noticed the reality of the situation that I'm facing right now. I'm just telling you about it. It's not like I'm like, this fucking sucks. Oh, oh. right. That'd be, that'd be insane. Imagine if I was here like, oh, holy shit, dude. Um, ah, man, I lost my train of thought. Um, excuse me excuse me yeah but like it it would have to be absolutely fucking soul crushing dude and um oh yeah i was saying like i'm the i'm the kind of person where when something's bothering me i just shut up about it i shut up and i i, I thug it out and i move forward right people people at my work had no fucking clue i was going through it with my wife having having surgery a surgery coming up of which like the mortality you'd be surprised at how many things can go wrong with surgeries and things like that, right? Specifically kidney donation surgeries. It's not like, you know, you're having a cyst removed. They're taking an organ out of your body, an organ that even though they run tests to see if you can survive without it, they might take it out and then immediately you just shit goes haywire and you're like, they're like, fuck, 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 shit, fuck, fuck, right? Um, I'm sitting here going through that and my job is like breathing down my neck about some like dumbass shit and they have no clue that I'm even going through that and I had to let them know eventually like look like fucking I'm getting ready for my wife to have a major surgery all right so I'm gonna need to take a week off early and they still were breathing down my fucking neck but I didn't constantly sit there like my wife's having a surgery, dude. Like, leave me alone. That's not what I did. I just fucking shut up and I moved forward. You know, because at the end of the day, what else do you got, right? What else, what else, what else do you have, right, um, in a situation like that other than to just move forward? If you, if you stop and you break down, you're just going to, you're just going to be wallowing in filth. You know, you're, you gotta, you gotta picture it as though, you're walking through a swamp or you're walking, not even a swamp. You're walking through a pool full of shit. If you absolutely positively have to wade through that waist high pool of shit, there's no way around it. You just absolutely have to. The best thing for you to do is to just shut up and get through it as quickly and as efficiently as you can. And as much as you hate it in the moment, if you stop, that just means you're spending more time in the waist high pool of shit. So you might as well not stop and you might as well not complain. You might as well get to the other side, hop out, do your best to clean your, all the shit off, right? Hope it didn't get inside like your dick hole or anything like that. And then just move on and try and forget that it even was a thing in the first place, you know? And that's something that I kind of, I kind of learned because, um, you know, I used to walk all around my town and I'm, I'm not saying it's like, you know, I'm, I'm. I'm not like those other boys, right? I'm not saying it's like anything stupendous, but I used to walk like, like 10, 15 miles in a day at times, you know, 15 miles, right? Uh, jokes aside, like I used to walk all around my town, like from one end to another, um, just for whatever reason, because I didn't have a car and things like that. I used to carry like 40 pounds of groceries and stuff like that. Um, it was it was insane 
right? The amount of walking that I used to do. And sometimes you go for a walk and it's cloudy out and you're like, no, no, it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. Uh, it won't rain. You get to the other side of town and fucking downpour. Well, what are you going to do? Your parents don't come pick you up. You might as well just walk home as quickly as you can. And when I would do that, I would be thinking like, hey, in 20 minutes when I get home, I'm just going to be happy to be home. I'm not going to be worried about how much this sucks right now. So why don't I just keep on trying to get home right now? You know, rain, sleet, hail, snow. That's what I would always remind myself of. And that's kind of why um, I'm as patient and as able to put up with stupid shit as I am. You know, there's there's a lot of, I'm, I'm very stoic and I'm, I'm able to, uh, put up with poor situations and poor people for a lot longer than a lot of people are. And it's it's specifically because I know, like, hey, this bullshit's going to end at some point. This person's going to get tired. This thing is going to stop. I'm going to get through that thing, right? But anyway, that is what it is. Um, begs the question if shadow bands or dethrottling have decay timers. You see, I don't necessarily think they have decay timers, but I think what will happen is... Um, I think I think I think what'll happen is eventually you'll start like you'll start um like like the way I kind of look at it and I think I think this way because of Ramsey Dewey. If you look up Ramsey Dewey on YouTube, he is a martial arts YouTuber, much like myself, and um He's, he's kind of a bit of an inspiration for the channel on my part, right? I'll be honest with you. Watching Ramsey Dewey kind of gave me the idea to, to get into what I'm doing now with, with my martial arts channel, even though I'm branching out from just pure martial arts content. But um, he ended up talking... He lives in actually... He lives in Shanghai, China. And uh, they had a round of lockdowns there at one point or another over the last year or two. And, um, it was, it was insane. You know, dude didn't have enough like drinkable water and stuff like that. That's how bad it was. And he tried to talk about it and YouTube decided to de-boost his shit. He was doing very well. He was one of the more popular martial arts channels on the platform, uh, millions of views, stuff like that. And, um, he ended up, uh, getting, he, his channel got fucked. I remember I checked in on him like six months, maybe a year ago just to see what he was up to, because I realized I hadn't seen any of his stuff for a little while. And he was getting like two to 3,000 views for uh, per video. His best videos in that time were like five, like, yeah, five, not even 10,000 views, like five to 7,000 views. And again, this is a guy who used to get like tens, hundred, tens to hundreds of thousands of views on every channel, millions of views per, uh, on every channel, on every video, excuse me, um, millions of views per month and things like that. And his channel has slowly kind of returned to normal. It's not exactly what it once was, but, um, you know, he's, he's, he's doing pretty decent compared to how he was six to 12 months ago. And I would assume what it is, is when he spoke about that thing, that was like a strike against him, kind of. Like an unconscious, un, a, a strike that he could not see. And because of that, he got deboosted, and he had to work extra, extra hard just to get back to where he was. So basically, it's, it's like, if you're up here, you get deboosted, well, YouTube knocks you down to here. And if you want to get back up to here, you got to work really, really hard putting out content that people are going to want to see and they're going to want to click on. And then eventually you end up back up here, if that makes sense, right? I think that's probably close to how the system works is it knocks you off the hill and you got to climb the hill again if you want to get back to where you're at. And hopefully you will, but it's not going to be easy. You know, it's definitely not going to be easy, um, you know. Not to say Ramsey Dewey has it easy, but the dude for work was teaching martial arts and then he just got to do YouTube and stuff like that. You know, me, my day is wake up, go to work, get home, go teach martial arts, get home and like hurry up and relax, you know? So it's like, fuck, it's, you know, it's, it's, if he could do it, I could, but it's going to be even harder for me than it was him, you know, which fucking sucks, but it is what it is. Um, 
People figured out how to increase their impressions. The trick is really short shorts that get played several times over in a row and get your subscribers to leave it running for a while. That's not a bad idea. And that's one thing that I've kind of neglected over the last, uh, specifically I want to say year, is my shorts. Um, you see, it's tough because, and I'm going to get started soon. Like, I, I didn't I didn't mean to be talking about this for as long as I was. I apologize for that, you know. But, um, you know, it, it's... I got I got to start outsourcing stuff. I got to start uh, I got to start um well I am outsourcing stuff. I actually just sent a video to uh you know um you know hit, at Hitamari Sneed <laughs> on uh, on um on uh Twitter. I just sent him some footage to work on for a video because he makes really really good uh video essay stuff. I can't wait to release the video that he worked on for me. It came out like so good. Came out real fucking good. Um, yeah, like I got I got a couple of dudes. They make really good videos and really good thumbnails and stuff like that. I'm kind of working with them on an as needed basis. But I also need two things. One, I need somebody who will clip my streams for me. And the thing is, like, I feel like I could go to Fiverr for that. But even on Fiverr, I feel like they are like, you know. I don't want to pay somebody $50 when I'm going to be the one sending them something. And I'm going to be like, okay, from um, 10 minutes in to 20 minutes in, you're going to cut that. And you're going to edit out all the ums and uhs. You know, like, like I, that's to me, that's not $50 work. You know, when I'm, I'm not even making them watch. I'm just like, look, clip this and edit out some of the uhs and ums. You know, that's, that's not... That's an, that's, that's an hour of work. Unless it's like a five hour stream and I'm like, there's like five videos in here, dude. 10 to 20, 25 to 35, uh, da, 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 right? It's, 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 you know, I don't, I don't know. Maybe I'm just being stupid too. You know, maybe I'm just being stupid and I should just uh, bite the bullet on that one. But you know, it, 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 it is what it is, you know? I'm sure it's 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 tough to balance out what exactly you're going to do and what exactly you're going to pay somebody else to do. You know, it's it's tough to do that. But regardless, we're going to go ahead. We're going to get started now. Bada bing, bada boom. Oh, wait. Uh, there we go. Do an experiment. Say like and subscribe every two minutes and see if it gets the views up. I'm going to I'm going to put it in. I'm going to put it in the videos themselves too. I'm going to be like, so today we're going to be talking about whether or not you should use punches in street fights. Remember to like and subscribe everybody. So some people say you shouldn't punch in street fights because the knuckles on your fist are very delicate and they're very small. And if you break them, they may never heal right. By the way, like and subscribe everybody. I would appreciate that. Uh, other people say that... You could just harden your knuckles up by doing push-ups on them and hitting a makiwara and, and hitting the heavy bag and stuff like that. By the way, like and subscribe, everybody. That's how I'm going to do it. That's that's how I'll do it. No, it's not. It's not food. It's not food anari sneed, I Claudius. It is. It is. Uh, it is hitamari sneed is what it is. I don't know what I don't know what kind of weird weeb shit that is, but I do know the man does some really good video editing. I like this formula, me too. All right, so last time I just walked up, I didn't say a word, and I, I started blasting. Yeah, you know, I just absolutely started blasting this dude to high hell. What I need is. Um, Hold on. I want to see if I can get... Uh, yes. Okay. Good. So uh, that's going to pack a little bit more of a punch. What I think I'm going to need to do is talk to him and then kill him. And then it'll you know tell me what exactly I have to do everywhere else and stuff like that. You know? Alright. What's good, pussy? I don't give a shit. What a pussy. Point blank. Basically. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Uh, there he is. Oh, jeez. This fucking, uh... You see, I'm gonna have to... Ah. 
See, I gotta get the medical I bought, and then I can get Ulysses in a uh, slightly more uh, um, reliable way. What up, pussy? Come on. Oh, you fucking bitch. Go fuck yourself. Ah, uh, you see? He's just kind of stuck. Oh, man. Dude, this is ridiculous, dude. Where's he at? Oh, you fucking bastard, dude. That is crazy. I was literally about to kill him. You, you see, like, I'm very underpowered. I'm very underpowered for this playthrough because I, 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 put, my, I put my shit in uh, weird spots. So I'm gonna end up getting I'm gonna end up getting killed. You know, that that that's the medical I bought right there, I guarantee you. Yeah. I should've I should have learned I should have learned how to use power armor is really what I should have did. I should've did I should have I should have came here with power armor. That's stupid as hell. But yeah, so right over there spawns the medical eyebots. And it's not that he is hard to kill. The 12-7 is actually, like, really good to use against him. But the medical eyebot heals him up. So I need to do as much damage to him as possible. When the medical eyebot spawns, I need to kill that. And then I need to immediately go back to doing damage to him. You know, and unfortunately that time it didn't quite work. You fucking bitch. Uh... Damn. Ah, you see, there it is. There it is. You see the medical I bought. Uh... Uh-oh. There we go. Alright. So now I can at least... Get a few in on him. Ah, he's fucking... Alright, there we go. Alright, let me go. Oh, jeez. Is that another medical I bought? I hope not. Uh, come on. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, you see... Damn, that thing is getting him from really far away, too. Is the... Damn, that's not good for me. I thought it had to be closer, but no, it's just straight up absolutely, like, getting them good. I'm gonna have to switch to something else, too, I feel like. Oh, no, I'm good. It's just, uh, alright, where is he? 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 Where is Ulysses? There is Ulysses. I don't even care that there's a, uh, that there's one of those guys getting me, either. Dude, why are they all of a sudden on his side? Damn. They don't, they don't feel like they need to do anything to him. They're just like, ah, whatever. Alright, hopefully I'm good. Oh, oh, uh-oh. Oh, oh, wait, I th damn. Wow. You see, last time this was the winning... Oh, you know what it was? I think I took Psycho and Medex last time. I think I took Psycho and Medics last time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, first off, I'm gonna use this weapon repair kit, and then I'm gonna auto-save. Uh, roughing it bedroll kit? I don't know, should I? You know, it'll, uh, of course. But I'm pretty sure I'm fully healed anyway. Yeah, I'm fully healed. Alright, let's hit the Psycho. Um, there was medics too. I had medics. Oh, you know what? I don't care. I'll get, I'll get addicted to it. That's fine by me. So I'm gonna put this in one. Um, mm, uh, I don't know. Oh well. Yeah, I'm gonna put this in three. I need, like, I need shit that's really gonna fucking do something to him, you know? Like, the rockets don't do anything to him. It's, it's crazy. Like, the shoulder-mounted machine gun, that's one that I could use. Um, I guess the survivalist rifle... Oh, wait. Fuck. 
So, shoulder mounted. All right, and then the LMG. Um, I believe that's what it was. Could be wrong. Maybe the Cyberdog gun. I don't know. Five, uh, six. Uh, I just need to be able to go down the line with the, like rapid fire shit that's going to take chunks out of them quick is really what I need. And in fact, you know what? Uh, oh, boy. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to wait here as well just so I can uh, just so I don't have to do all that again. What difficulty are you on? I think I'm on easy because like I, I I don't know. I'm probably not. Usually I play on easy because I don't give a shit about being good at video games. You know. Even in this place. I don't give a shit. What up, pussy? Uh, huh. He got himself. Oh, there it is. There we go. Alright, let's get straight over to him. I might. I might have. Nope. Nope. I don't. Fucking A, dude. Where, Where is he even at right now? Oh, he's right there. Of course. So, so I got closer that time. I think what... Hmm. You see, and the issue is I'm in... Like, I'm min-maxed. That's why this is happening is because usually when I would play this in the past I'd disable the iBots but I don't have the repair or the science to actually manage that so I'm stuck here waiting for that thing to spawn and trying to kill Ulysses and then he runs over there and that thing fucking long range snipes him with the uh, the healing beam and that's why I'm sitting here like a fucking like fool like oh no it's cool I'll just shoot him a bunch I'll shoot him a bunch with everything Hollow point. Uh, shit. You know what? Fuck it. I'll give it a shot. I wanted to switch to the shoulder mounted. Even in this place. Yeah, 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 yeah. Three. Ah, uh, come on. Tell me I'm getting him. Yep, I got him. Damn, but I'm not, like, doing any real damage to him. Is there a another one? Yeah, there's another one. There we go. Where's he at? Where's he at? Where's he at? There, there he is. Uh, come on, tell me I'm doing damage to him. Tell me I'm doing some fucking damage to him, at least a little bit, like shit. Yeah, no, I'm hitting him pretty hard, but that's the issue. <laughs> hey, hey guys. What is what are you what are you guys doing here? <laughs> Damn. Ah fuck. It's that fucking <clears throat> son of a bitch, dude. Now, where is Ulysses? I keep losing him because he's he's invisible now. Damn. Nice, okay. Good. Um... Hmm... So the hollow points, they seem to fucking like... Hold on. I want to see what else I have here because I'm going to have to... Yeah, okay. So there's one. 
There's two. What just happened? I thought I... Huh, that's weird. Anyway, um... So what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to switch from the hollow point to the regular rounds after I run out. Because this thing hit, like, I don't know what it is. It does, like, mad damage to him for one reason or another. If you have the lair, I recommend using it. It shreds, uh, matter the build. It shreds no matter the build. I used to have Elijah's advanced. Yeah, you know what? All right, fuck it. You know, we might as well. Shit. Might as well give it a try. Uh, uh, a, uh, a try. Even in this place. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, uh, but y you see, here it is. Here it is. You fucking pussy. Alright. Now where is he at? I'm thinking what I'll do is I'll camp out over here. And, ah, uh, you see? You see, here he is. Alright, now where's he at? Repair, I bought. Oh. Please tell me he's like, all right, good. He ain't doing, he ain't doing that good. Oh, uh, that was a bad move. That was a bad move. I should have, uh, I should have just been hitting him because now I gotta hit the uh, stims. Ah, uh, come on. Nice. There we go. Go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. You dickhead. Uh, you know, I'll take that. That way I can get the, uh, whatever it's called, that thing. Old Glory. Oh, jeez, I have way too much shit. Alright. So, let's see what I can, uh, let's, let's see what I can get rid of here. Alright. I've turned off automatic weapons in most games because of the lack of damage compared to ammunition expended semi-auto all the way. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I like the hunting rifle. The hunting rifle is really good, but the hunting rifle for this specifically is just, it's, it's not that good of a choice, you know? Um, now what I have to do is... Guess I'll drop the trail carbine. Actually, wait a second. I have mad. Um... Uh... Use a doctor's bag, I guess. Where is? All right. So now's the moment of truth here, because I've killed Ulysses, right? I got these guys up my ass now. You see, this is what happened last time. I killed Ulysses, but there is no update. It's carrying on telling me I have to I have to uh, disable the iBots and stuff like that. I already killed all the iBots. Where is he at? Oh. See, this time I spoke to him. Granted, I, you know, I, I rushed through the speaking to him part because I find him to be so detestable. All <laughs> right. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'll hit, I'll hit him with the hunting rifle. That way I can stay far away. Just want to avoid getting hit by all those. Yeah, you know what? Why don't I, uh, see if I can shoot it out of him. There we go. Good. Fantastic. <laughs> I got him again. 
Damn, that right arm. He cannot catch a break with that thing. Jeez. And point. That's why I love the hunting rifle so much. One-shotting dudes from that far away is fun. And you see what's happening here. You see what's happening here. Every time I kill them all, another one spawns almost immediately. And then I'm just kind of here like, hey, like, I killed Ulysses. I have his shit now. Fuck. I forgot about that. What's going on? What's going on, mental? Yeah, like, again, 100 repair required. I think I have, like, 60. And then science, fucking forget about that. Right? So I have to... Ah, damn it. Who's shooting at me? Who's trying to shoot at me? That is. So, I hate to say it, but I have a 100 speech. I might have to just be his pal. I shit you not, I might just have to be his pal. I might have to walk up to him and be like, Hey, bud, it's okay. I might have to brave speaking to this guy. Who's he shooting at? Oh, it's Eddie. Oh, boy. Um, got him. Even with the, uh, even with the sway. So, at the very least, Eddie is back up. I suppose that's good. But, again, now I'm sitting here sneaking around, hoping and praying that I can get to these guys before... They do any real shit to me. Alright, Eddie, go get him. Yeah, I'm gonna wander around for a little bit longer. But I'm not gonna, like, you know... Because, again, like, even there. Like, I go over to there. And then, where's Ulysses at? Ulysses' body will... It's still, um... Yeah, no, that's not Ulysses. Um, Ulysses is somewhere over here. He's is that him here? Um, oh, brush gun, nice. Uh, oh yeah, you see, Ulysses' body is still a map marker. Oh, you can't you can't see uh, you can't see the map markers, unfortunately, but his body still shows as a map marker. There we go. Fucking bitch. Go fuck yourself. It's like, what do I gotta take all the frag grenades? Is that it? And again, right here. I I bought controls. Nothing. Yeah, it's... I don't know. I don't even know. This is the first time this has happened as well. So, I couldn't even tell you, like, what to do, you know? Scott's our pal, right? Oh. Oh, no, that's okay. Perfect. Yeah, we're just kind of trapped in here. Oh. Hey, dummy. Maybe you shouldn't throw grenades two feet away from yourself. This shit's ridiculous. Alright. I'm gonna see what happens if I approach the nuke. If this doesn't work... If this doesn't work, unfortunately, I'm just gonna have to say fuck... Ah, da, there it is. There it is, okay. I, ha I literally had to approach that thing. That's all I had to do. That's all I had to fucking do. That is a crazy thought. All right. Um. Medicine. I'll bring that up to five, and then uh, repair. I guess I might as well. Oh, nice. Um. There isn't really anything too new here. 
I don't believe. Uh, yeah. You know what? Fuck it. I'll do intense training. Whatever. I guess we're I guess we're going to intelligence now, ladies and gentlemen. Foot locker. Uh, bang, bang, bang. Oh, what I will do real quick. I want to hit all those things. Let's go. All right, there we go. Move out of the way, Eddie. Gonna get us blown up. Skotsky, do you use any fragrance or just let the females smell the testosterone off you? Nah, I just use deodorant and that's pretty much it, you know? Like, there's something weird to me about the idea of, like, you're five feet away from me but you can smell me, you know? I can't smell people, typically, unless they're wearing something like that, you know? If I smell something bad on you, that just means you have to shower as well, you know? I know, I know people don't, you know, it's, it's not like there's people pulling Chris Chan moves out there, right? It's not like they're sitting there like, oh, dude, uh, uh, the, uh, where the hell were those things gonna go if they launched? What the hell is this? Um, yeah, it's, it's not like people are pulling, like, Chris Chan moves or anything like that, you know, where they're like, oh, a Axe Body Spray can substitute for the showers. It's not like they're doing that weird shit, but also, um, you know, it's, it's just like a weird thing to me. It's like, why, why, you know, why even bother, you know? I don't know. Maybe I should get into cologne, though. Maybe that wouldn't be a bad idea. Fallout Season 2 is going to be set in New Vegas. Thoughts? Really? Is it going to be set in New Vegas? Did they say anything like that? That's pretty cool. I actually, I will say, I watched... Excuse me. I watched the first episode of the Fallout series... And I was not disappointed. I wasn't blown away, but I wasn't disappointed. I watched it, and I enjoyed what I saw. I did not expect that at all. I did not expect that one bit. You know, it's, it's crazy. Crazy. And people say it gets better, too. There were people who were like, oh, uh, the first episode sucks, but, you know, all the ones after that are good. I didn't even think the first episode was that bad. Yeah, you have some girl power bullshit. You have, like, a, a girl who's, like, beating the hell out of a dude who's twice her size. Okay, fine. But even even in the situation where, um, um, what's her name? I think it was, like, Lucy or something like that. She kills that uh, raider. Um, they did a good job of making it believable on some level, right? Like, the elbow that she threw followed by kicking off of him. All right, typically it's not going to go like that, but... I'll suspend my disbelief for that. For that, um, the idea though that like she's getting stabbed and then she fails to kill him by cutting him with a bottle. It's like that's how I would expect something like that to go on some level. You know, she's just acting off of pure adrenaline. She's lucky she didn't get killed, and she's just like fuck, 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 fuck. What? Any, anything, anything. Oh shit, that'll work. And then she tries to cut the dude's throat, but she misses. That's believable because that type of shit happens all the time. I'm well, I'm reading a book on the Civil War, right? Now, j just to kind of add to this, and there was a uh, Supreme Court justice in the in the regiment that I'm reading about. He was a uh, captain of one of the one of the companies in the regiment, and uh, he got shot in the chest and in the stomach and in, and in one other spot I forget where. In one single battle, survived. In the Battle of Antietam, I just got finished reading this like a half hour before I, I got here. Um, he got shot in the throat and survived. It missed his esophagus and his carotid arteries. It, it's like, fuck, that's crazy. Weird shit happens in combat. Weird shit happens in a fight. So it's like, you know, I, 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 it's, it's not like it was, um, I appreciate that it wasn't a 125 pound dainty little pretty girl, uh, beats the hell out of, six foot two 195 pound guy with ease and then is like ha, shouldn't have messed with me like some stupid quip bullshit afterwards i appreciate that that's not what it was again some girl power weirdo bullshit in there aside it wasn't the worst that i've ever seen 
I am excited to see what happens. I hope they show Mr. House in New Vegas, though. That would be uh, that would be fantastic. If that is true, what you're telling me right now. Go ahead, grab some of those. Um, jeez. Jeez Louise, man. That's crazy. Take that, because those things are free money. All right. Hmm. I got a sudden bout of heartburn out of nowhere. It's because I ate nothing but junk food today. So I'm like, oh. But we're on a fuck the Legion run right now. We're not even siding with the NCR. We're, we're, we're on a house run. But we're on a house run plus fuck the Legion. So we're going to send this shit to Caesar's Legion. Excuse me. <coughs> this will launch Ulysses missiles against targets in the land of the east of the Colorado. In the lands east of the Colorado, controlled by Caesar's Legion, raining nuclear fire down on its cities and tribes. Are you sure you want to continue? Hell yes. I want to see if I can actually... No, I have to run because this place is, like, going down, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, this place is going way down. Huh. Oh, of course. The divide erupted in fire as the flame trail of the two couriers last message arced into the sky. Missiles fell on the east, and the Legion encampment at Drywells, where the Twisted Hears had allied, then been betrayed by Wolpus and Kaisar. Legion soldiers died, their silhouettes blasted into the ground and earth, the last word of the last of the Twisted Hears. It was an ending to things. A way of erasing the road that had led to this point and the history that had walked with it. At the end of the struggle, only one courier remained in the heart of the divide. The true courier. Courier Six. The courier tore the ancient flag of the Commonwealth from its cables and cast it over the corpse. Though whether done no, I didn't. as a sign of respect or in anger for what had been endured to reach this moment, that is unknown. Interpretation is something best left to history, and only the surviving courier would ever know for certain. Searching for Navarro. As for the courier, he turned his back on his home for the second time and made his way back, navigating the treachery of the Divide. Tunnelers and the marked men avoided the lone figure, as if recognizing the courier's right to passage, or out of fear. The courier walked until he stood again upon the edge of the Divide, the last road he would walk before the second battle for Hoover Dam. There, beside his feet, was a final package from one courier to another. A footlocker bearing a gift and a message. But that message, it is something for couriers to carry and for them alone. The lights flickered across the divide. Reminders that the old world histories persist 
and find meaning in the present. It said, war, war never changes. Men do through the roads they walk. And this road has reached its end. Oh, um, there, there it is. Oh, come on, man. That's pretty crazy. Completed Lonesome Road. I already completed Lonesome Road, though. I completed Lonesome Road a while ago. Why the hell is it giving me an achievement there? Um, the fires of Armageddon. Your merciless nuclear assault on Caesar's Legion has devastated the lands of e the lands east of the Colorado and even reached the borders of the Mojave. At Cottonwood Cove, you can now take a journey by river to the site of Dry Wells, a devastated Legion encampment. Be prepared. The area is highly irradiated and infested with Legion ghouls. You have also unlocked the Scourge of the East perk, allowing you to put a single point into any of your special attributes. You also gain reputation with the NCR for breaking the back of Caesar's Legion, but you lose reputation with Caesar's Legion. Aww. Caesar's Legion doesn't like me. Aww. Um, I guess we'll do Intelligence again, because I don't know what else to put it in, is the, is the issue. All right. Um, so, Mental, um, would you recommend any boxing gloves? Um, yeah, I mean, you, you see, it, it can be tough to answer these questions sometimes because I don't like to just, I like, like these right here are fantastic. But the thing is, these were $600. I would not have ever bought these on my own. Sam gave those to me in season one, if you guys remember. Um, and it's like, obviously I would love to be able to just buy a pair of those, whatever the hell I felt like, but I can't. So, you know, here they are now, <laughs> right? Um, but, like, RDX makes some pretty good gloves for a fair price. Um, you know, I, I, I use almost exclusively RDX gloves outside of the realm of that now because, like, I've, I've bought, like, I bought a pair of Hayabusa's. Oh, look. Hey there. Huh. Interesting. I bought a pair of Hayabusa's, and um, I liked them. They were a, a pair of Hayabusa, M uh, not MMA, um, uh, Muay Thai gloves. They weren't even Muay Thai gloves. Hayabusa Muay Thai gloves. Very, very good. I liked them a lot. Boink. And, um, you know, I, I used them for like, I want to say like uh, four to six months. They started ripping immediately. The seams started coming apart almost immediately. It was, it was ridiculous. It was stupid as hell. Um, whoop, I didn't want that tourniquet. Uh, all right, but yeah, RDX makes some pretty good gloves. Um, you know, the pair that I have right now, I think they were like $35 and that's like a bottom of the barrel, like cheapo depot pair, but they, there was one issue with them. I had to cut them open to pull out a piece that came loose. But other than that, I haven't really had any issues with them. Um, there's also a pair of like $45 ones. The only time I've had to replace my RDX gloves is when they started to smell. Not because they, not because they, uh, not because they, um, broke or anything like that. You know? Old glory. There's two old glories. I don't know. Maybe I should sell one of them. I should probably sell the, uh, the ones that are, um, yeah, I, I, sh I should sell the ones that are... Uh, the red glare, I'll go ahead and I'll repair that. Just because I might as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. I got like a frog in my throat. I'm trying to get rid of it, but it doesn't want to... doesn't want to budge. Um... That bullshit. Um... Career duster. Oh, nice. Now I can get the hell out of here. Oh, it's got the new California Republic on it, too. I have a... You know, I've never actually taken a good look, but I have a feeling if I ended up hitting the NCR, it probably would have given me... Uh, it probably would have given me a Caesar's Legion one. 
All right, let's go ahead and uh, let's head down to Cottonwood Cove. Um, yes. Um, so yeah, we're going to head to Cottonwood Cove and yeah, the boat to Dry Wells is where we're going to go. Hold up one sec. Oh, I got trapped. I got caught. Uh oh. Uh oh. We got caught. Got caught in the trap. It took me a long ass time to figure out that there's barrels up there that you can open up and like unleash into the camp. I had no clue. Whoop. Uh oh. Is that the boat? Yep. Jeez, dude, that's insane. What the hell is going on? Oh, because you know what it is? That fucking... This stupid ass thing. Oh, oh, shit. Hi. Oh, fuck. I gotta go. I gotta go. I, for I forgot I, I have, like... I have dog shit armor on right now. I gotta go buy better shit or repair shit. Silly me. Before I go liquidate everybody in uh, in uh, dry wells. Oh, I went to the strip by mistake. I wanted to go to the gun runner so I could sell the duplicates that I have. And then also anything else I don't feel like I'm going to use. And then buy more shit that I will use. Welcome, sir or madam. Yeah, yeah. Vendor bitch. Uh... I'll probably just sell this. I'm not going to use that again. Same thing with that. Uh... Um, sell them the better old glory. I probably won't use, uh, maybe I, maybe I should keep the shoulder mounted. I don't know. Just because I have so much 10 millimeter, you know, and I don't quite know if I want to get rid of the 10 millimeter that I have. I'll put down the cyber dog gun when I, uh, when I get back. Sell them the nail gun. Uh, Blade of the West. I'll sell them that. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't come across enough uh, fifty cal to justify it. Oh, uh, okay. Here we go. So I have one and then two. You can take those. Um. Yeah, I'll take that. Ammo. I'm looking for 308. I could have swore it would have been up there, but um Can't tell if I'm passing the 308 or not. 38, 357, ah, 308, yes. Um, I'll just take regular. Then again, eh, maybe I should. Maybe I should. Alright. Um, huh. I don't know if I want to keep these or get rid of them. I should just get rid of a, a lot of them. But it's whatever. Fucking snake bite tourniquet. Yeah. I'll sell a bunch of these stealth boys. Just because why not? Rebound. 
Oh, the cat eye? Yeah. I saw that. <laughs> Empty syringes. Oh, I ain't selling scripture or Seymour for that matter. Definitely not Seymour. Alright, and I'll sell him the flamer fuel as well. Um, I have flamer fuel somewhere around here. Yes. Here we go. Nails. Ah, whatever. Fuck it. I sold him the nail gun. Alright, so... Now I'll go and I'll offload anything that I'm not going to be carrying. And then I'll, I'll, I'll grab Boone and I'll grab uh, Rex. And I'll go back there and we'll fuck up the rest of those uh, Legion Raiders. They hijacked your vision. They did. On my Legion playthrough, I already wiped out the Brotherhood when I went to the Long 15. Oh, when I went to the Long 15, so the power armor was useless. Yeah, I forget. Like, I've been playing so long, I forget if I got rid of the Brotherhood or not. Actually, I, I've i been avoiding having to do anything for House because I don't want to accidentally stumble into... Um, I don't want to accidentally stumble into... Um, the end game, you know? Yep, that's it. If you can't wear it, don't bear it. Yes, sir. Uh, flare gun, throw the flashbangs in there, might as well. Uh, golden gloves, I will. Cyberdog gun, eh, I'll let him have the light machine gun. And the marksman rifle. I like the I like the marksman rifle, but not that much. Um, mm, mm. I don't have that much twelve gauge, so it's like, what's even the point of having either of them? But also, I feel like I should keep one. I'll keep the one that I have. Um, you know, that thing for. Um, yeah, you know, what? I'll have old baby and old baby O oh baby in there. I'll go ahead, I'll... Yeah. Um... Mm. Uh, I'll keep it for now. I'll keep it for now. And then this is where... We're good there. Oh. What the hell are you doing here? Jeez. Leave me alone. Oh, oh wrong one. Alright, nice. That's better. <laughs> I love that thing, man. Alright, where's Ulysses? Not Ulysses. Jeez, where's Boone? Let's go, boys. Wow, I have a lot of armor piercing. I had no idea. I had no idea I had that much armor piercing. 308. Alright, now we're going to head down there. We're going to liquidate everybody. There we go. Oh. All right, boys. Shoot everything that moves. That's the rule. Yeah. 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 You see, the ghoul... I forget his name, but the ghoul in, uh, oh, the ghoul in the Fallout TV show looks more like a marked man than he does an actual ghoul. Where, where is everybody? Oh. Get, get him. Idiots. 
You're just gonna let him do that? He had five NCR dollars on him for some reason. Damn, we need we need cover and we need a bed. Oh shit, they got they got me pinned. They took down they took they took everybody out. Damn. that. Fuck it, I'll hit another medex. I didn't even realize I had the medex. I meant to get rid of that. Ah, oh. oh, damn. Uh, let's see what else I got. You know, we'll hit him with the, uh... Oh, no, wait, actually. Let's hit him with the survivalist rifle. Ah, man. It's like I got the force. I'm just like, give me that. Oh, jeez. They're coming around both sides. I keep forgetting I'm underpowered, like, severely. Oh, oh, jeez. Okay. Yeah, we're getting out of here, boys. We're, we're, we're getting out of here. I'll see you guys later. Peace. I keep forgetting that I'm so underpowered. Like, it, it's... Every... I keep forgetting it until I end up getting fucked up by people that I'm like, Oh, no, I should totally be, like, beating the hell out of these guys, you know? I think I won't get irradiated in there. Yeah, you know what? I'm good there. Um... Real Albanian hours. Oh, there we go. Good. Oh, I gotta be outdoors. Alright, well. I ain't got no choice. I ain't got no choice. I gotta drink from this urinal. The ghoul from the show just gotta fade and smooth out all the scar tissues and tufts of hair. I hear the show is good. It absolutely obliter but it absolutely obliterates the Fallout lore. I mean, to me, it kind of depends, right? Like, I mean, there's if it if it if it takes out of if it takes away from established shit, then it's like okay, that's you know, that's like annoying, right? Like if it's like oh, uh, actually, um, in Fallout Three, uh, or in what purity that was not real. Damn, you can't sleep in that. Son of a bitch. It's an owned bed. I figured, I, I knew that, but I was like, yeah, let's try it anyway. Yeah. Alright, let's, uh... Alright, I guess that's it. Only 13. But yeah, that's one thing. But it, if, it, if it establishes something else, like, 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 um, I heard something about Philadelphia, but I don't think it was Philadelphia. It didn't look like it took place in Pennsylvania to me. It didn't, didn't appear to be the case. Damn, this, the red glare is trash, dude. Wow, I just got fucked up. Damn. <laughs> Boone. Alright, yeah. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to mess around more and then I'm gonna have to come back with like some better weaponry and stuff like that. I think I'm actually gonna call it I'm gonna cut it short for today though. But first let's go back and I'll save in a in a safer place, I guess. I'm going to cut it short for today because I had such a long stream last night that I'm kind of like fucked up now, you know? Um, so I'll go ahead. I'll save on the strip. All right.
I'm not going to head out right this second. I'm going to read anything in chat that I may have missed. And then, uh, you know, if there's any updates to give, which I don't believe there are, I'll go ahead and I'll give those. We shall see, though. So I am working on a couple of different projects right now that are like in the early stages, um, which I mean, right now I'm in two modes. I'm in two modes. One, I'm trying to get all the stuff that I have started but is not finished, finished. Um, and I'm, you know, that's what I'm outsourcing help for. But then in addition to that, I'm also trying to start up some other new projects. It's tough because on one hand, I have streams that I'm trying to do. And then on the other hand, I have videos and, and stuff that I'm trying to do. And those are two things I kind of need to work on simultaneously. And it makes it really tough to be able to do that, you know. Um, but, you know, I, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to power through it. We're going to do our thing. Um, yeah, you know, it, it, it just is what it is at the end of the day. Fucking, It's like I said, you just got to keep on moving forward, keep on trying to power through whatever the hell you're going through, and, uh, you know, we'll, we'll do our thing. Um, also, I am going to continue trying to find ways that I could potentially, um, that I could potentially, um, excuse me, sorry, it, that I could potentially, um, no, I'm trying. I'm trying to find ways that I could potentially get over the hurdle that I'm facing right now with YouTube, like very clearly deboosting my shit. Um, it's a pain in the ass, but you know it is what it is. It, YouTube is the only hobby where, like, the hobby itself will try and fuck you over. Like, in martial arts, you're not getting fucked over by trying to learn like a new kick or something like that. It might be tough. It might be a challenge, but it's not like the kick itself or the martial arts school you're going to itself is trying to keep you from learning that kick. If they are, then you need to find a new school, but you're not, you're not going to fucking do that shit. You know, um, excuse me. Um, you know, j just, just like anything else, right? There's a barrier to entry for certain things. Like you're not going to get into woodworking without woodworking tools and things like that. And those things can cost money. So if you don't have them, you don't have the money you're not going to have the tools therefore you can't get into woodworking but youtube is something where you could get into it for basically zero dollars you could you could invest like no money into it practically you could you could just take your phone and you know hook it up and be like oh blah 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 blah, blah. you know you're just sitting there like that um you know and then like you can you can like It, it's 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 just weird man it's just weird you know it is what it is though just keep on moving forward um enter bjj tournament sorry kid i'm too underpowered right now been doing too many dlcs um tactical retreat by boone that's yeah that's what that was the backstroke the backstroke um yeah but i'm gonna get out of here uh i'll see you guys later peace out